What is up guys? Welcome to Vintage Genetics, where of course it's all about classic bodybuilding. And today it is a chest workout. Right now it is a Monday and this Sunday I have a competition, so I'm less than one week out. However, I still will be training as if I'm just in a lean bulk right now. I feel strong, I feel energized, even though this very day was my very lowest carb day. Less, well, just about 150 grams. And compared to my regular 450 grams, that is 300 grams of carbs less, which is 1200 calories of energy less to spend this day so but i still feel great and that's the nice thing about it if you eat healthy get enough vegetables get those minerals and vitamins in you'll feel a lot better than if you would be eating plain rice and chicken or fish and the only thing your body knows is i'm not getting the energy i need usually you're hungry not only because you're not getting the calories but also when you're starved of minerals then your body starts to search for foods that has these vitamins and minerals which in nature can be found easily but in a grocery store most people avoid anyway let's get on with this workout i'm showing you quite a lot of bench press sets um I've actually added deep tissue massage three days before this workout and the day of the massage I of course didn't work out at all because my entire upper body was deep tissue attacked and it was muscle ache all over my body that this very same day and he especially did my chest and I really do feel the benefits of it a better pump better blood flow I actually had a guest posing two days after the massage and just pumping up backstage doing push-ups the chest was filled up very nicely but that is also the reason why I'm doing a lot of warm-ups right here doing quite a lot of sets before moving on to a heavy set like this one to ensure that that deep tissue massage um, you know it does damage your muscle a little bit and I do know stories of people getting their muscles uh, deep tissue massaged and then ripping them off because they go way too heavy way too soon so if you get a good masseuse or however you call it good guy that gives you those massages and you go heavy you know that that might be a risk that can be happening so that's why I'm doing a lot of sets of bench press and using good form, making sure I don't go too heavy for my own good. So my last set was 150 kilograms in the last week before my competition, which is still pretty strong uh, for me, in my opinion. So I was pretty happy that I was able to hit 10 reps with that. And then we're doing as a final set for the bench press, paused reps until failure basically and this is to really drive that extra blood in the chest that you wouldn't get if you would end with the latest i mean the highest the heaviest weight because there's a lot more gas left in the tank but if you go this route using the pause reps you have no choice but to use your chest fully to contract it and stretch it to the full capability of those muscles but do make sure you have a spotter because you might fail all of a sudden without even realizing you were about to because that's what that exercise does pause reps takes out the momentum takes out the cheating and since I haven't been training chest with someone who is able to spot me for a while, I chose to do the basic classic exercises to really target that chest. This workout was really more about getting a nice pump, pumping in those nutrients, especially the protein, the minerals and vitamins, into the muscles, making sure that they get the maximum muscle protein synthesis attack they can get. Because I am cutting quite a lot of calories this day. I really didn't want, you know, to overexert myself. So I stick to the basics like this, and I really enjoy working out like this anyway. And look at this. I'm wearing a tank top ain't heavy enough. Why? Because it still ain't heavy enough, even though I'm in the last week of prep, the weights can always go higher using good form and good execution. This ain't heavy enough. 
And I really do like the decline bench press because if you really want to work that lower chest, you cannot escape doing basic exercises that you can do nice and heavy. And the decline bench press not only focuses on those lower pecs, but also enables you to go very heavy, heavier than on the regular bench press if you start out with it but anyway we move on to the next exercise the third exercise of the day a nice cable fly we just did two exercises that focuses a little bit more on the stretch and our heavy exercises and now we're focusing more on the contraction of course cable flies focuses both on the stretch and contraction but i always like to promote a full range of motion so don't only focus on one thing if you can focus on both and that's why it always becomes a little more heavy than usual if you do it this route so the weight doesn't always matter what matters most is good form and this is a drop set standing a little more upright to target again those lower pecs because remember the lower pecs are the biggest part of your chest that you got people focusing on the upper pecs might never actually get those mammoth chesticles which is something we all of course want so focusing on the biggest part of your chest will get you the most results and after doing those cable flies and getting a nice pump in the chest, it is time to stretch it out once again. If you know me and have seen my videos by now, you know that I like to pump up a muscle and then stretch it out again. Why? Because the more pumped up those muscle fibers are, the harder and more difficult and more extreme that stretch will be. And the more extreme it is, the more extreme your body will respond to what you're doing. What are you doing, muscle? Are you damaging yourself too much? Hey, I gotta get stronger. And that's exactly what will happen the next time. Stronger and bigger. Just remember to do it every single time. Uh, at least often enough so that your muscles will respond the right way and these weighted dips are amazing this is a classic arnold schwarzenegger exercise weighted body weight dips so i like to start out with no weight at all because you always got to warm up it's uh, quite a dangerous exercise for your shoulders if you don't look out so that's why i go just about 90 degrees the lower you go the more tension you put on your shoulders and that's not what we want to work we want to work the chest and i did a drop set right there dropping all the weight of the belt really going to the maximum really creating again a nice pump at that last set at the drop set and again we're going to stretch it out with these nice double flies one of my favorite exercises to do for chest again one of arnold's favorite things to do as well because you can stretch out the chest more than any other exercise out there it is really superior and that's why you don't see me go up all the way because i really want to emphasize the stretch on this exercise remember when you go up all the way with dumbbells the tension will be lost and it'll be on your joints and we're not training our joints here we want to train our muscles and muscles can only be trained when tension is on them at a maximum amount of time time under tension is one of the principles of muscle building so stretch out all the way go up until you feel the tension disappear in your chest and then go right back down so you want to keep a space of about two dumbbells in between the two dumbbells when you're at the top and then go straight down stretch down as far as you can and trust me this way it is actually harder than if you would be going all the way up because you kind of get a rest pause at the, at the top if you do so don't start out too heavy and just enjoy the stretch enjoy the feeling in the chest knowing that it's the right thing to do and after all those chest exercises which mostly were basics it is time to work the triceps one of my weak points now of course since i'm not bulking not lean bulking and i cannot really make progress in terms of muscle mass but that's no excuse at all not to train your weak points because right after this competition i will jump right into a lean bulk and focus on all those weak points that i got that is what bodybuilding is all about look at yourself objectively like an artist would when he's sculpting a sculpture 
a statue and if you don't like a certain part if you want a certain part bigger for better proportions you will work on it and that's what I'm doing with my own body right now the difference with the skull crushes I'm doing right here compared to what I would normally do is I normally stick to about 10 reps but now I'm doing 20 this is to really shock the muscle of course a term used by people in the wrong way because you cannot really shock a muscle that doesn't have a brain of its own but it's more to create a different response when you know that the regular response you give it doesn't always work as well i can go very heavy on the skull crushers but when i stick around 10 reps that is easy when i stick around 20 reps it becomes very difficult the lactic acid is building up and science has proven that you can build muscle that hypertrophy occurs even around 30 reps so don't worry a lactic acid buildup will also release hormones growth factor hormones which will also aid in your muscle growth of course and then this exercise is actually a close grip press for the triceps i'm dropping it down to my chin and now we're going for eight reps go down as far as you can feel the stretch in the triceps and go up and contract the triceps so first a high rep skull crusher and then a lower heavier rep close grip tricep press and after that we move on to a very nice exercise that john meadows actually taught me when watching his videos i knew this underhand tricep extension but i usually do it with a curved bar but then even if it's curved your wrists are still under pressure but using two handles like this with the cable it actually becomes very easy to contract the triceps without feeling your wrists at all so go up all the way feel the tricep stretch and go down contracting those triceps very good for the medial and long head which is what i want to work on and this was the workout already guys don't forget black friday is coming and black friday that weekend and Cyber Monday, there will be amazing deals on VintageGenetics.com. And tomorrow, starting tomorrow night, a lot of new designs will be available on Vintage Genetics so you can check them out, order them if you want to, or wait until Black Friday and find out the deals for yourself. A lot of things will go in a massive discount like the tank tops, t-shirts even the hoodies so make sure to check it out and guys thanks for supporting me thanks for watching the videos and don't forget to stay what golden